Welcome back to the dating game. I'm your obligatory host. Now let's meet our new bachelorette. Please welcome Miss Wanda Wayne. Holy crap! Peter, I told you I was gonna be on TV, girl. So, Wanda, tell us about yourself. Oh, okay then, for real though. Uh, first of all, I won uh, Miss uh, Miss High Pro Glow three years in a row. Mm -hmm. Then I won uh, Miss Swap Me for two years, and then and then. I was like a second runner up in Miss Compton, but it was some political stuff going on. Of some about some some hair weave spray had had came up missing. But you know, I got my own natural blonde hair. I don't need nobody. Well, that's hair. very nice, Wanda. Very nice indeed. Now let's meet our bachelors. Bachelor number one, bachelor number two, and bachelor number three. Wanda, number three is my lucky number. I hope it's yours too, girl, because I believe we could have a lot of fun together. Ain't nobody asked you nothing. You sound like you're bourgeois anyway. Ooh, I can see my breath in here. <laughs> well, one, if you're ready, go ahead, take a seat. Anyway, uh... First question, Wanda. All right, uh, hey, uh, word up. Uh, bachelor number one. Okay, this is a security. Uh... I got a piece of popcorn stuck in the back of my teeth. How would you get it out? Well, Wanda, I probably wouldn't even get it out. What I'd do is I'd probably put some butter on my tongue and just work it on in there with the rest of that popcorn. Hey. You're just trying to get nasty over there, ain't you? But that, you know, you need to do something else, like take me out to eat or something like that before you can get in my stuff. And, uh... Okay. Wanda? Yes? I don't know about the popcorn, but this lipstick is really bothering me. <laughs> you are not for a white man. Okay, uh, bachelor number two. Same question, only instead of popcorn, it's a piece of pig feet in my back mode. How would you get it out? Well, Wanda, I'd just add a little hot sauce to set your mouth on fire. Hey. And then I'd put my lips around yours. Word up. And I would suck until your forehead caved the hell in. I like his Word up. I like his dance. I like his dance. But can I go get him now? I ain't had my forehead caved in in a long time. Not since that LL Cool J concert. Let's move on to number three, Wanda. Okay, then. Uh, now, best look, number three. It's our first day, and we in our apartment and stuff, and I got on some sexy lingerie and stuff. <laughs> and, uh, and, and, uh, and, and so you can, it's real, like, revealing and stuff. You can see, like, the centrifugalness of my body. Now, how would you turn me on? Well, Wanda, I'd probably take you in my arms as I whispered some poetry in your ear in poetry. old Latin while we gazed at some sculptures or paintings or... Maybe watch some Scott. public television. That's see, how I turn you on. The only thing gonna get turned on is the light so you can see how to get your ass out of my apartment. Whoa. Anyway, uh, bachelor number one. Bachelor number one, and this is your question. Now, if I had a tattoo of the United States all over my body, which area of the country would you go visit? I'm going to Europe. Bachelor number one, what's wrong with you? You can't get your tongue? Well, good looking. I'd probably start at the mouth of the Mississippi River and ride it all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico, girl. <laughs> okay, uh, now, bachelor number two, what part of the country would you hang out in? Well, Wanda, uh, first I would go to the peak of the Rocky Mountains. Then I'd loosen up that sun belt. Go with your bad self. <laughs> Then I'd make a run for the border. Hey, give me a chicken tequila. That's what I'm saying. Okay, uh, well, time's up, Wanda. That's the funny sound. Okay, now you have a big decision to make. Will it be bachelor number one 
Bachelor number two or bachelor number three? Okay, uh, shoot, I can only pick one, huh? Make a decision, Wanda. Okay, uh, I choose number two. Okay! What a lucky guy. Now let's meet the bachelors you didn't pick. Wanda, bachelor number one, Derek Clinton. What's up, man? Hey, what's up? Now say hello to bachelor number three, Steve Big Bun. Oh, hey. you are... Wait a Meet the bachelor you did pick. Here's bachelor number two, Lucky Paul Nelson. need to throw your ugly ass back. What you say? I know you're not tripping. No, no, he I know said he is not tripping. No, he said there's no way I'm turning back. Oh, okay, then, hey. Hey, man, is there something in the rule book that says forget about the whole thing if we're not compatible? Cause, no, come I on, got man. the rule book right here. The you rule do? book says, chapter 7, point 4, section 8, it says, I got you, and I'm ready to go. <laughs> That's what it says. Look, I'm not the one you wanted, I'm sure, uh, because no, number one was... He no, was, you are the one boy. I wanted. You the one talking about you was going to suck the pig feet out my mouth. You're the pig feet right here. She's got the pig feet. <laughs> and you said you was going to, like, use hot sauce and stuff. I got the hot sauce. Oh, you got, you got, got it. it. Well. What's wrong with you? Oh, uh, there go my heart again. My heart. There go my heart again. Yeah, I got this heart condition. It Don't always gets me, so I know I got Don't to get it. Don't worry about it. I got your heart again. If you can get this man drunk enough, you two are going to be spending a wonderful, beautiful week in sunny Hawaii. Oh, I, oh good, because I get to wear my new string bikini that I had. Oh, oh, here it is. I get to wear my new string bikini. Can I see? Head between your legs. Head between your legs. <coughs> oh, you all right? Can I see? I'm just going to be the beauty on the beach. Beauty and the beast. Oh, you're so crazy. You ain't no bees. <laughs> you two are like you're married already or something. Another happy couple, ladies and gentlemen. Curtis, Susie, come on out here and join us, will you? Oh, God, no. I'm going to rock your brain. <laughs> well, it's time to give our dating game goodbye kiss, kids.